Notting Hill Shopping Mag Company started because I had offices in Portobello Road with my business at the time. I'd always loved Notting Hill. I'd watched the movie. I'd been to the carnival loads of times. I thought it was a place I want to live. I had this office on Portobello Road it, above a pub. I used to look out the window every day and, on Fridays and see the tourists arriving and I used to think Notting Hill is a special place and they all want to be here in Notting Hill. I felt I really understood how much people wanted to be in Notting Hill because it was Notting Hill whereas when I walked around the market the souvenir sellers were selling general London based souvenirs. I'm going to create some special souvenir for people who are visiting Notting Hill and that's how I created the Notting Hill shopping bag. This was in 2008 so 15 years ago that business started. I designed the logo and I imported a thousand bags. Obviously I knew nothing about importing. I had no idea how to get things into the country. I knew nothing. I literally knew nothing. They cost me about a thousand pounds. I thought, I'm probably going to lose this a thousand pounds, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. I thought I'm going to have to go around the market now and find people to sell these bags. I'm going to go in all the shops and all the stores and find my stockists. This is one of the reasons why that was the business I learned so much from, because I was so terrified to go out talking to people in the market. I was so scared that I spent three or four days, just every day saying, today's the day, I'm going out, I'm going to do it now, today's the day. And then every single day I come up with an excuse as to why I wasn't doing it until by day four, I was literally saying to myself, my God, you are such a loser. Just get out there and stop making excuses. And I went out and started going around all the stores and predictably, some people said, yeah, sure. Some were like, oh, try it and sale or return. I was like, I didn't know what that meant, sale or return. What does that mean? Yes, sale or return. I didn't even know what it was. <laughs> I ended up with about 20, 20 stockers for the first weekend. 11 o'clock on that Saturday morning, I got a call from Josie, who runs one of the fruit stores in the market. She's like, can you bring some more bags? They've all gone. They'd only started selling at nine. I rushed back to the office, got more bags, delivered them. And that was really it. They've had all sorts of issues with me running out of stock. I remember once the bags that came from China, they started getting smaller and the handles started getting shorter and shorter. They're meant to be 38 centimetres high. I used to measure them when they arrived. They like 38, 37. I was like, could just be a cutting error. Next, 34. They always tell me highs and lows along the way. I remember a shipment arriving from India. It left India in the monsoon season, about 4,000 bags, and they all arrived. They were all damp, all of them damp, smelling of damp cotton. I had to hire a transit van, drive them to my mum's house, 4,000 bags. I unpacked them all, laid them all the way across my mum's garden, dried them all in the sun, and repacked them all, and drive them all back to London in this transit van. And then some of the sellers were like, do these bags smell a bit musty? From there on, every year, never place an order for tote bags when it's monsoon season. It's very difficult for those manufacturers to guarantee that stock won't get affected by monsoon. I do believe, <laughs> having been selling souvenirs for so long, people love souvenirs. When you go somewhere, you want to collect something from that place that you got from that place. It's memories, isn't it? Oh, I got this when I went there. You see them around the world. That's an amazing feeling when you see your bag in a different country but I don't know whether I'd ever want the Notting Hill shopping bag to be sold in those locations because the point about it is you get it when you come to Notting Hill if you allow it to be sold elsewhere then that takes away the fact that having a Notting Hill shopping bag means that you've been to Notting Hill you've been to the Notting Hill shopping bag shop it's mobbed right I go to the shop and I get to meet hundreds of customers and I talk to them all I'm like I designed this bag and blah 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 and we do TikTok videos with them People do get excited when they meet me at the Notting Hill shopping bag shop. People have been asking me for my autograph on the bags. And it's just, it's so lovely. It's surprising and it's also really lovely. People are excited to see me when they meet me in the Notting Hill shopping bag shop. But I am so excited to see them because it's such a privilege to see people coming. It's just an incredible privilege to go and see people and meet people. It's something I never thought I was going to experience.